truly we are grateful to God. Amen. Amen. Just to know that we must be born again. Amen. Amen. Born again is not an option. Amen. 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 But one must understand that it is a requirement. Amen. 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 That if we ever want to see Jesus. Amen. Amen. You must be born again. All right. We thank the singing choir for not only but for that uh, uh, selection, but we also thank them by the spirit by which they sang that song. Amen. Amen. Because they sung it in a way that, that, that you know that they believe what they are singing. Amen. And I am certainly grateful to God. Thank God for uh, God has just continued to, to bless me. Amen. He continues to, to do what only a, a, a good God can do. Amen. I thank God for it. It, it seems like uh, uh, my doctor has gotten where he, he's kind of scared to tell me good news because he don't know how I'm going to take it and run with it. Amen. So every time he tells me uh, how good things are going, he said, but now just, just take it easy. <laughs> You're not completely healed yet. Amen. But you're on your way. Amen. I thank God for, for blessing me with the same doctor. Amen. 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 Uh, my doctor knows that uh, Dr. Terry Ezell, he is saved. Amen. He, he knows the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, um, or when we had some complications, he said, I don't know what happened, but I know who it took to heal it. Amen. Amen. And he, of course, he still sent me the bill, you know. <laughs> we thank God for healing. Amen. 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 A lot of y'all thank God for healing, and then you complain about the bill. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you ought to be able to say, Lord, I thank you for whatever it is and however it is. Amen. Amen. That, that you just keep doing what you do. Yeah. Amen. 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 I know that I, I guess I guess uh, many times if, 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 if we're not careful uh, we can look at ourselves and, and, and if we look at ourselves in the wrong mirror. Anybody here got two mirrors in your house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you look in the mirror at one and you really don't like what you see. Amen. Well, that kind of metal, but it's the truth. We would say to ourselves, if we like it, I'm going to look at a bigger mirror. And if we don't like it, we go to the smaller mirror. <laughs> Praise God. And I said that to say this, that uh, a lot of times, even as, as preachers of the gospel, in, 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 in doing and preaching the word as God would have us to preach it. There ought to be a time when, when we preach to the people that all is not lost, that, 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 that God is pleased with where you are. Amen. Huh? Amen. I, I believe that, that that is the message that, that, that God has allowed us to, to envision uh, for this Sunday morning. Is, is, is that to, that, that is to, to grasp and understanding, amen, that no, we are not where we are going, amen, amen, amen. amen. but we can thank God that we are not where we used to be. Amen. Can I get a witness? Anybody thank you to God, amen, that no, I'm, I'm not where I, I'm not where I ought to be, amen, I know that, I realize that, amen, uh, but I can also thank God that I'm not where I used to be, amen, amen. and so it was that as God put this, this, this particular thought in, 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 my, in, in my spirit mm -hmm. and I began to, to look at it, I, I began to, to think about uh, a scripture that uh, was, was, really was told to me to look at and to keep looking at when I was a young minister because I want y'all to know something, this can be confusing if you're not careful, amen. Amen. Because the way this this is this, it, it, it should be, and the way it is, doesn't always match up. Amen. Anybody been there and done that? Amen. The way life should be laid out and the things that should be happening in your life do not line up exactly the way they should with what's happening. 
And if we're not careful, we can, we, we can become uh, uh, discouraged and dismayed and all of the other D.I.S. words that you can find, amen, that set the Christian back, amen. I believe that those words, amen, amen, that this is this, this made for the church, amen, because we seem to have more of the discouragements and those kind of things in God's house than anywhere else, amen, amen. I like... Um, uh, I like the way Le 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 LeBron put it the other night, amen. I did my best, and that's only one game. and left it at that and walked off, amen. Oh, that's man. how you got to leave it sometimes. Don't allow nobody. Don't, don't you do it yourself, and don't you allow anybody else, amen, to allow you to become rooted in the thing that God has not planned for you, amen. The thing that, because the Bible tells us that the will of God is that I prosper and be in heaven, amen. Amen. So as we would look at Philippians chapter one, uh, I just want to I just want to, to to deal with the thought today. I'm going to deal with the thought that God is not finished. That's that's simply what I want to deal with today. I want to just was deal with. I believe it in my spirit that God is not finished. Amen. Amen. And, and and when we can when we can grasp in our spiritual life, when we can grasp in our spiritual person that God is not finished with me. Amen. It presents a whole nother outlook. Amen. I began to see this thing in a whole nother light when I can stop looking at well what if this is it. Amen. Everything that happens and everything that goes by you in your life does not signal that this is it. Amen. Amen. Somebody ought to be praying with me right now. Amen. Somebody ought to be rejoicing. Amen. Amen. Look at me. Look at me, if you will, to uh, Philippians chapter one. I just want to read uh, for you here in one verse, but we're going to deal with the verses surrounding the sixth verse. Amen. Paul says this. He says, "Being confident that this very thing which he has begun." A good work in you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So if you will just, just work with us a little while this morning as we would uh, talk to you from the thought um, uh, God is not finished. And for a sub thought, we would talk about God is still working on me. Mm, yes. God yes. is still working on me. Let us pray. Gracious God, our heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you now, Lord, for this opportunity to stand before your children. We thank you, Lord God, uh, that uh, you have allowed us the privilege to come and share with your congregation this morning. I pray now, Lord God, that the, the words of my mouth and the meditation of all of our hearts will be acceptable in thy sight. In Jesus' name we do pray and we ask it all. Amen. Amen and amen. Amen. Um, the Bible tells us, the Word of God tells us, that one thing that, that we as the people of God, the Christians of God, the saints of God, that we should always do is, is to let your light shine. Amen. Uh, that others may see your good works and that it would glorify your God which is in heaven. Amen. 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 I want you to know something that I, that I found out. That, uh, that if, if, if you truly want people to get to know them, know you, let them see God in you. Amen. When people can see that God is alive in your life, people tend to recognize and see things that you might can't see in yourself. Amen. I thank God for, for I'm just like as Paul. Paul started this. This, this was a, a privilege. Paul, it was a privilege that Paul was able to write the church at Philippi. This was, this was he was not writing them and, 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 and giving them uh, uh, instruction on what they needed to do better and how they needed because this was a church whose heart was truly uh, for the Lord. Amen. They were a church whose interests, whose, whose thoughts were that they were a church who were going to please God. And in the process of pleasing God, they became familiar with Paul through him aiding and assisting this church, church which he founded, I believe, on his first missionary journey. And, and, and it became a, a, a cornerstone of, of, of his ministry. Because this was a situation whereby he was not always called on to help the church. 
But the church was also a catalyst in who he was. Right. And why don't, I'm not trying to pump you up, I'm not trying to build you up, I'm not trying to make you do anything different, amen. But I'm going to tell you that I feel the same way about White Oak, amen. I thank God, amen, that there was a White Oak in my life, amen, amen. I thank God, amen, that in out of all that he could have done in my life, that he put a White Oak in my way, amen. But now before you go to thinking y'all the only one, I also thank him for my Mariah, and I also thank him for Wilson Chapel, amen, and I also thank him for Mount Hebrew, and I also thank him for New Home. I thank God for every church that he has ever allowed me to go through, amen. But at this very moment in my life, I, I want y'all to know something, amen. It isn't all about always got to tell the church what they're doing wrong or what we can do better or how we ought to do this and how we ought to do that. But, 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 but it's a joy. Amen. Amen. It was a joy last night to witness, amen, uh, a young man uh, who's like a son to me, amen, uh, 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 walk across and pick up the biggest trophy that was in the room, amen, to hear about kids and to see them graduate, amen, amen. There ought to be something in, in us, amen, that every time we do something good, that every time that something good happens in the life of one another, amen, we are truly rejoicing, amen, we are overjoyed, amen, because we realize that God is still working in our midst, amen, you ought to be able to find one somebody in White Oak right now that you can truly look to and say thank you, amen, because I'm so glad that God put you in my way, I'm I'm glad that when I was going through, that God put you where God Almighty, where I had to go by you, amen. I thank God, amen. I, I want y'all to know something about, and then so many of you, amen, have, have been just such a blessing to our lives and to our ministry, amen. But it's just something about uh, uh, Mama Ella, amen. Y'all know something, when I got ready to go up, uh, uh, have my service, Mama, my Mama, Mama Ella looked at me and and she said, now, Pastor, now you can go ahead and get well and come on back here. God ain't through with you at White Oak Day. Lord have mercy. That for others, too. But it's just, this something about it. Y'all know Mom Ellis, she'll put a fight on me. You know, when she get ready to tell you something. Amen. Huh? And then the fact that she was able to see beyond this collar, amen, and see that there was still somebody human behind, beneath this collar, amen. I thank God for that every day. Amen. So because Paul recognized and Paul began to realize that the Spirit of God, amen, is moving amongst the people at Philippi. And I truly feel that the Spirit of God is alive and well at White Oak AMEs I Church. I feel like, amen. We might not, that I can say it again, we might not be what we ought to be, amen. But I thank God we are not what we used to be, amen. God is still working on us, amen. God is not finished with us yet. But I want us just to take a moment and think about the circumstances and the situations that have occurred in your life. Anybody in here ever been through anything? Anybody ever had to deal with anything? Anybody ever had to go through anything, amen. Let us use the what if philosophy just for a moment. What if when you were going through, amen, God said, well, this is the end for sister or brother so-and-so. I am through with them. Amen. But thanks be to God. Amen. God was not through with you. Amen. Somebody ought to praise God. Somebody that's truly been through something. Somebody that knows what it is to go up the right side of the mountain. Somebody that knows how it feels to be counted out. Somebody that knows how it to have to struggle sometimes. Somebody that knows how it is to have been sick. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. I have to rejoice. I don't. I don't have no choice, church. I think. I think about that. What if when the doctors cut me open, the Lord had said, "I'm through with you." Somebody ought to praise God. Amen. What if when you were going through your situation? What if when you were going through your situation? 
situation, when you were going through your circumstance, what if the Lord had to say, I am through with it. I'm finished with it. That journey down here is over with. I tell you what, church, it involves the opportunity to look beyond what the natural says. Because what the natural says, and we ought to thank God, amen, that what the natural said is not what happened in our lives. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because what, when you look at your situation, when I look at my situation, it did not have to come out like that. Amen. Can I get a witness? Amen. amen. God has blessed some of us and most of us and even all of us beyond our measure. Amen. amen. I've been knocked down, I've been pushed down, I've been shoved down. But glory to God, I'm still standing. Amen. Can I get a witness? Anybody ever say it? Amen. You are counting out. But glory be to God, I'm still standing. Amen. And what the devil meant for bad, God turned it around. And God has worked it out for my good. And I can shout this thing. June the 7th, 2015, because I realized that in all my shortcomings, God is not through with me yet. He's still working. He's still working on my mind. He's still working on my heart. He's still working in my hand. He's still working in my feet. God is not through with me yet. have allowed ourselves to be counted out before we start. Can I get a witness? Young folk, <laughs> you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. <laughs> you're going to have some things in this life that are going to push you forward. <laughs> And you're going to have some things that are going to set you back. But don't worry about it. Because God is not finished with you yet. Amen. Can I get a witness from my young folk? That you realize and you understand. God is still working on me. I may not be able to dot every I and cross every T. But I realize that God is still working on me. And guess what? While God is working on me. Guess what the Bible declares? That God has not forgotten one promise that God has made concerning your life. That everything that God said was going to happen in your life. God said, I'm sure that. I'm sure that. I'm not going to leave it up to chance. I'm not going to leave it up to happenstance. But God said, I will surely bring it to pass. Everything that you are trusting God for. Everything that you are believing God for, you just keep on praising God. You just keep on lifting up the name of the Lord. But everything that God has said is worth the God. Everything that you believe that God is going to do in your life concerning you. The Bible says that while that when Jairus' daughter had died, she was sick and she had died. And, 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 and on the way to Jairus' house while she was still sick, the Bible tells us that Jesus stopped along the way and he healed that woman who had an issue of blood. And folk could not understand. Folk could not understand the fact that Jairus didn't get irate. That Jairus didn't get upset with God. That Jairus didn't go to blame God. Jairus just held on just a little while longer. I believe in my spirit that Jairus realized that as long as he's healing, he's still in the healing business. As long as he's blessing, he's still in the blessing business. As long as he's making a way, he's still in the way making business. Whatever God is doing in the life of somebody else, 
you ought to be able to rejoice because I realize that what God is doing in your life is exactly what I need God to do in my life. If God had quit doing it, what God can do best. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Glory. God just keeps on. He just keeps on making a way. And Paul thought it was necessary to let the church know that what God had begun in them was a good work. I want you, I want you to know today, my God. At every remembrance of you, somebody just bring up your name and I'll rejoice. Huh? <laughs> somebody just say something about my God, and I just rejoice. <laughs> and you know something I found out? Folk look at the pastor to see huh, if what's going on in your life huh, is worth rejoicing about. Huh? Every time they would mention one of those things, they looking at me. Huh, and I just rejoice. Huh? And every remembrance, huh, every time somebody says huh, that something is good huh, has happened huh, to one of your members, huh, not only that, huh, but Bible says, huh, I've learned to rejoice huh, in suffering huh, because I believe huh, that some things uh, that we'll never get uh, if we're not willing to suffer. Uh, right. Some of the things uh, that you are asking God for, uh, he's not going to give it to you uh, in your rocket ship, uh, but he's going to give it to you uh, on a hospital bed. Uh, he's going to give it to you uh, in a suit line. Uh, I believe in my spirit uh, that if we're going to rejoice uh, in the fellowship with God, uh, we got to also uh, rejoice in the suffering. Uh, because I found out uh, when I'm weak, uh, we made, 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 uh, we made me strong. Yes. Thank you, Lord. We rejoice. We rejoice in the Lord. Because what we must understand, church, that after the coming of Christ. The word declares that all things became new. <laughs> Somebody didn't catch that. All things. Let me tell you something. Don't get hung up on the idea that God is a repairman. <laughs> huh? There's something about McLean, I know. God said, remember what God said, it ain't worth fixing. I got to get a boy something new. Boy, what are you saying, buddy? I'm saying that something we're dealing with, you just need to get rid of it. <laughs> and let God give you something new. You don't need God to fix a messed up attitude. You need God to give you a what? Come on, Patty, what you say? A new attitude. We ask God, God, I know the Lord going to fix it. No, God, don't fix that. Just give me a new one. We've been fixing and repairing and Good God, we'll leave that alone. That sounds too much like medicine, don't it? But we have to trust God that there's work that God has begun in all of us. And if God has begun the work in all of us, amen, amen. So, uh, there are three things. There are three things I want to leave with you. Three ideas I want to leave with you. That this text, that the sixth verse put in my spirit. First of all, <laughs> Paul took the opportunity to remind us that we are in partnership one with another and with God. Yeah. You see, a church who is truly rooted and grounded in Almighty God, you can't hurt them unless I hurt them. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and the best way to see you not hurt, how can I hurt you and I don't want to be 
hurt. Uh, I want you to know something, church. When we're all in partnership, one with another, uh, if you are going through, I'm going through. Uh, if you are suffering, I'm suffering. Uh, if you are hurting, I'm hurting. If you are discouraged, I'm discouraged. If you are disappointed, I'm discouraged. I'm disappointed. But glory be to God, uh, when you break out in rejoicing, uh, and I know that I know uh, what you have been through, uh, I know what God uh, has allowed you to go through. Uh, God allowed you to go through some things. I was in that with you, but the other day, I saw it turning around. I saw the spirit get back in order. We are in part of this year. One with another. And why don't I pray that the day will come when we don't have to hunt one or two people that we know we can trust to tell what we're going through. I pray that God will put us in a place in a day when just because, just because we are members one of another, 